What's up, everybody? Thank you very much for joining me here on Pretty Dece, your daily entertainment and pop culture podcast. Uh, as always, just a reminder, there's now a video version of Pretty Dece. So if you are not watching that, go check it out. You can search YouTube for Pretty Dece to find the channel or just visit prettydeceshow.com slash video for the link. Uh, let's get right into it. We've got some big news today, and that news is that Disney is apparently in talks to purchase 21st Century Fox. Yes, that's the Fox media that you know, the the, the TV show, the, the movie uh, production company. Uh, apparently, Disney wants to purchase all of Fox, according to a CNBC report. Um, that would mean that Disney would acquire a majority of the company, so they would be able to call all the shots, basically control the company, own the company, uh, everything but sports and news so fox sports and fox news would not be a part of this deal so just the uh, movie and television production and all the holdings therein the idea being that um, Fox would consider that at this point basically just streamlining their company, just focusing on sports and news. Uh, two, you know, granted two of the biggest aspects of their company, and uh, would sell the rest off there to Disney. Now, apparently, there haven't been any talks for a few weeks, but of course, this could get picked back up at any point. And it's certainly a very interesting thing that Disney is attempting to do. What this would mean, basically, is that uh, Disney would then own basically a huge, massive library of things that they didn't own before, including, you know, the Fantastic Four movie rights, X-Men movie rights, uh, the Avatar series, which Disney is very close to because of, you know, rides and parks and such, uh, the, the plethora of Fox TV shows that go on and on and on. Stuff like The Simpsons, Buffy the Vampire Slayer, Futurama, Family Guy, American Dad, New Girl, How I Met Your Mother, Bob's Burgers. Um, the list goes on and on and on. Um, basically, you know, a, a massive, massive amount of content. So obviously the question is, why would Disney do this? Why, why does Disney think that it needs to own 21st Century Fox? Or why would it like to own 21st Century Fox? And really, if you think about it, think about what Disney is doing right now, the big answer, the easy answer to that is their streaming service. So we all know, we've talked about it in the past, that Disney is in the works uh, to you know pull out of Netflix, pull all of their stuff off of Netflix, and start their own streaming service. So a, a Disney exclusive streaming service you would sign up for separate from Netflix, separate from Hulu, um, with just, you know, with, with all of their stuff on it, basically. That would be the selling point, the only place to get Disney stuff. Obviously, a streaming service like that, it takes a lot of content to fill out a streaming service. And while Disney does a good job of, of producing a lot of content, Disney is a massive company and there are a lot of branches of Disney just churning out TV shows and movies, it's not going to be enough forever, just one uh, company's work, no matter how big that company is. So it seems like the big reason that Disney wanted to snatch up Fox was so they could fill out the roster of their streaming shows. Imagine if now Disney's um, if if Disney's streaming service became the exclusive place to watch every single Fox program that you can imagine. You couldn't see them on Netflix anymore. You couldn't see them on Hulu. It was just this new service. It certainly makes that a much more enticing proposition. Now, granted, that's only historical things. If if Disney owned Fox, they wouldn't. Fox wouldn't be going on making new things. It would be Disney making those things. So, you know, it would be a a historical, basically, this giant mass of of stuff. But that's a huge, huge collection of television and movies that they'd be able to say that they have exclusive rights to because now, guess what? They own it all. So really, when, when you break it down like that and think about it in terms of where Disney wants to be headed in the marketplace and, and what business Disney wants to be in as the years go on, 
and and that business is a streaming company it makes perfect sense for them to try to pick up 21st century fox they also get some added bonus in all of this you know because they would be buying fox who has the movie rights to x-men and fantastic four as i mentioned they can loop those uh those franchises back into the main marvel cinematic universe so you know a lot of nerds out there would be excited about that disney would would uh, would basically i think see that as kind of icing on the cake maybe not their original goal but uh you know it's not not a bad throw in <laughs> to say the least um, it would certainly be a huge move for Disney to to do this. You know, Fox is not a small company, and uh, it would be a, a massive, massive undertaking for Disney to purchase them. And of course, it would have to get approved. You know, you you have to start thinking about things like monopolies when Disney ends up uh, gobbling up every single media company that exists. You know, things are already very monolithic, very monopolistic in terms of, of how companies work. Now, what if one more of them gets chewed up? You know, we would have to, uh, the, the government would literally have to approve of that before, before that deal goes through. So lots of hoops, lots of tape to jump through, and I'm sure lots of discussions to, to make that happen. But boy, what an interesting thing that would actually be if, um, if suddenly, you know, uh, what one fourth of, of of the broadcast television, this huge movie studio, uh, was just suddenly owned by Disney. Uh, it would it would be pretty wild. So that's uh, that's the crazy news today. That, that's what's been going on. Uh, thank, again, thank you very much for joining me here on Pretty Dece. You can follow Pretty Dece on Twitter at Pretty Dece Show. You can visit our website, prettydeceshow.com. We'll be back tomorrow for more episodes. Until then, please subscribe to make sure you see every single daily episode. Thanks.